Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to round numbers in Stata. That's something that you often need to do when you're doing data analysis, and fortunately Stata makes it pretty easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some mock data that I can show you how to do this on. By saying set OBS 400, I'm creating 400 empty observations. And using the draw, no draw norm command in Stata, followed by the name of a variable that I'm just going to call weight underscore A, comma, with a mean of 80 standard deviation of 10, and again, normally distributed, all this does is it creates uh, a lot of observations of this uh, of this mock variable that we want to mess with. And here, you know, we have all these digits here after the decimal, so it makes it a really good variable to show you how to round on. Now, what I'm going to do, and this is really a good thing for you to think about, I never get rid of the original variable. So if I'm rounding, I'm going to hold on to what I created, which is weight A, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create four new variables uh, rounded in different ways, just so I can demonstrate what Stata can do here. Now, in all of these, the syntax is very much the same in every line. Gen generates a variable. I'm going to call the first one weight underscore integer equals round and then immediately in the parentheses weight A. And so I'm rounding weight A. And because I haven't specified what I'm rounding to, this one's just going to be rounded up to or down to an integer value. Now, I've gone ahead and also shown you that you can create these other roundings where you put a comma and then you just specify what you're rounding to. So in this one, weight underscore 50, I'm rounding to the nearest half. Then here, I'm rounding to the nearest quarter. And here, I'm rounding to the nearest tenth. So you have precise control in Stata over what you want to round to. So let's go ahead and show you what we've done. We have our original unchanged value over here. But now we have four different variations that show you four different kinds of rounding. So you start here with the integer. And then you move to rounding to the nearest half, to the nearest quarter, and to the nearest tenth. And you can, of course, play around with that. And right after this comma here, you can go ahead and put in any value that you want to round to. So all of that is under your control. 